That's the last step. We've been looking forward to this for four years now and uh, feel like we've really accomplished something now and look forward to graduation. And yeah. yeah, It's, it's one a, big step. It's kind of weird when it's all coming together. When you finally realize that this is what I went to school for and I, I can build an entire plane, like it's really just a, it's almost like an awestruck kind of moment where you're just like, this is what I actually went to school for. You know, you're sitting there bogged down in all these like theoretical classes and stuff like that. But then when you get down and do a project like this, it, it just completely turns it on its side and you're just so much more proud about the major that you'd have and yeah. what you're going to be doing in the rest of your life. So it's, it's been an absolute awesome experience. The rules of today's competition are the students are given a, an airplane kit with all the electronics in it. They have to then use that electronics and re-engineer an airplane, make a whole new airplane around those electronics that carries as much payload as they can from one end zone to the other. Everybody wants everybody to succeed. And it's one of those things that's really special about Syracuse is our students really have a very tight bond and together they all want to succeed. Well, I, I, I love doing this because the students really sort of have this, this thing that they've been working on for four years and they can see it all coming together and they can see sort of the successes of their of all their studies. It's just amazing to see what you can do based off of what you've learned for four years. You know, starting off freshman year, you're kind of learning the basics and you learn how to calculate certain things and now looking to see that you're building an actual plane from scratch all by yourself, it's absolutely amazing.